when you put all the moves together in a row, it makes it seem unrealistic. But when you have them broken apart one at a time, which is their, their purpose in actual martial arts, then it becomes more clear what the actual options are that you're learning, different techniques, rather than, okay, this, 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 then this will happen. Hands, what actually do this is goes here and captured. And from this leg, left leg and hands, this come together. What is up everybody, Sensei Seth here. Today I'm gonna to try and teach myself some techniques from the world's oldest martial arts style, Kalari Payatu. I think that I said that right. Perfect. Sensei Seth here. I am a karate teacher, but I am infatuated with learning every martial art I possibly can. And while I've gotten a chance to dabble in things like Muay Thai, Taekwondo, a little bit of Jiu Jitsu, I really want to get into some of the more obscure stuff. And I think now's the best time to do it because it's not like I can learn it from anybody. So what I'm going to try and do is teach myself a little bit of an art called Karate Payatu. Ooh, I wonder if I got that right. I feel like that was close. Kalari Payatu. If I were to just read it, that's how I would say it but I tried to make it sound a little bit like this guy. I don't think I did a good job. Anyway, it's an Indian martial arts. It's supposed to be over 3,000 years old. It's supposed to be like the godfather of all martial arts. The style that influenced karate, kung fu, pretty much all of the defensive martial arts styles that are designed to like be war driven. I'd say its best use is that of its weapon stuff, but we're not gonna be able to really do the weapon stuff because they're very specific and you have to have the weapons. My best weapon's my body, you know what I mean? There's a bunch of different sections in Kalari Payatu, but what we're gonna be doing today, I'll be trying to teach myself a little bit of the Maya Pot. Maya Patu, Maya Patu, Maya Pot, Maya Piat. Maya Piat, which is sort of like katas became in karate, or kung fu had different forms, and taekwondo had forms. This is somewhat the same thing. It's designed to help strengthen the body. It's designed to help understand the movements and repeat those movements wherever you are. That's why this is going to be something really easy that I can teach myself. And in my so things took a really weird turn, but like in a cool way. So what ended up happening is I found somebody who could teach me Kalari Paitu by the name of Shinto Matthew. And you can find all of his stuff in the description below. And we pretty much broke this video down into four parts. First part is me reacting to the style as a whole. The second part is me trying on my own, which is like, I don't even want to talk about it. The third part is us going over a sort of like a kata in karate, but the Kalari Paitu version of it. And then part four, Shinto Matthew and I talk about different aspects of the history of Kalari Paitu and how it was banned and how it went from a war-driven martial art to something that people seem to see as a choreographed art. And then lastly, part number five is I'm going to do a quick breakdown of the different things that I enjoyed about it and the process and what I felt like I added into my own style. And in my opinion, body movement is body movement. You can take something from any different style and make it work for your own style. It's just a different way to move your body. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch some Maya Patu. My Piats. My... I'm going to butcher this this whole time. Forgive me now. And then try and do our best to recreate them and get some of those movements down pat. Okay, so I found here a My Piatu. It's in a smaller dojo. Not called a dojo. Right off the bat, very, very low movements. Knees bent standing straight up now, moving out into what looks like a horse stance. What's really interesting right off the bat is a lot of exaggerated movements where the leg is coming super far up and then the body's going very far down and then they jump up in the air and they're moving their limbs in very exaggerated things. And what you're doing here is you're getting a lot of flexibility and strength. They have lots of really extended movements like we talked about, but then they also have this guard where the head is covered by the back of the hand. They cover the ear and the jaw with the elbow and it looks like a long guard in Muay Thai, which is really cool. Ooh, outside crescent kicks, two of them, that'll be fun. They stopped here and they went big outside crescent kick, big outside crescent kick, which I do all the time in warm-ups, so it's cool to see that translate already. And then after that, that same leg went backwards and they reached forwards, which is another great stretch that I already do, this is crazy. And then the jumping and athleticism, and then a really like low stance that they fall into. I think this will be really fun to recreate and we'll get a good sweat in and we'll try and make this as similar as we possibly can and then at the end I'll talk about what I took away from it. Ready? Let's go. Bang. So 
is going to take me a while. We're going to go to the martial arts gym that I teach at. This way I can sweat a little bit more and have a little more time to try and recreate this perfectly. Attempting to recreate it perfectly. <laughs> into what we're doing today. So what my plan was, is I wanted to try and teach myself the Maya, the May Piat. Is that right? It's May Piat. May Piat. I was so close. <laughs> um, and I wanted to teach myself that, but let's be honest, I there's no way I was gonna be able to do it effectively. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to bring you on here and you're gonna teach me a segmented bit of it that's kind of designed to help show you guys a little bit um, and give you an idea of what those movements look like. It's not going to be a full one because, you know, there's, I can't learn the whole thing. And then also okay. we're in a small room, but we're going to give it back. This uh, segment, uh -huh. I just want to uh, clear uh, a lot of people's uh, thought about this martial art that sure. These things what we're doing in a dance movement, that's yeah. not dance, that's the application and uh, relate that things to applications also that okay, these yeah. moves can be applied like this. Perfect. That guy, that's awesome. Love that kind of stuff. It's it's a lot. It's it's very similar to karate and its katas, um, where a lot of people see the kata but they don't like take the time to look into the bunkai, which is the practical application of it. Which is kind of what we're going to be doing today with the may piet. May piet. It's a combination of two things. One is kicks, and the second one is animal postures. Kicks and animal postures. Gotcha. Animal postures. So there is a eight animal postures. In Kalagified and variety of kicks is there in so the yeah. combinations is uh, called Maypite. Maypite. Sweet. Let's do it. I've kicked a couple things in my day, believe it or not. Uh, so I'm excited for that part. I like the kicks. The, in the Maypite, whenever we start Maypite, uh -huh. uh, are you ready? See? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Legs. This is yeah. one and two and then three. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the body should be, uh, you know, uh, to our shoulder level, our length of level. Gotcha. And this stanza is very important in my time. The, you know, this much one knee space will be the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This, this is very similar to the uh, to the Jumbi, a uh, different a different opening for kata. So that's really cool. So here, here, here. Yes. Cool. Yes, and uh, this hands part. Yes. This hands part is suppose that we are protecting our this uh, the sensitive area. Hands will not be like this. This will be down to our chest. Okay. Yes. So ultimately, you just make a shield through your body. Okay. This is a protection movement in color. We are protecting our body with this. Yep. Gotcha. And we always uh, keep our right hand in and left because whenever something happens, we always. Uh, block and then do yeah. with yeah. right. Yeah. So okay. so whenever we open our uh, you know attack, we always uh, with the yeah, and we always uh, uh, at the same time after the attack we all comes back to this way, you know, huh. the shield. Leg. We just protected our front area. Yeah. If we just go down and sit like this and look at this, you know, so then we protecting our entire body. So the left leg will be front, right will be back. In this moment, as I say you, uh, you know, this should be not come back. This should be down, down. Yes, and this way you have to. So okay. you have to protect your entire body, and you know you have to hold your entire body in this way. Gotcha. Yeah, this is going to be So this is one protection movement okay. before the fight. This is an ancient martial art. So these times and the things which were practiced in the ancient time, ancient way of learning, mm -hmm. ancient way of uh, teaching sure. this martial art. Okay. So if we go to our first stage, this was our stanza and this, and both hands this, and we have to open it, these hands and touch over here like this, and then this, and going down. One touch, one, First touch is that, second elbow touch, elbow, and then you come in this namaste posture, yes. Then from here, don't bend this knees, this, this hand will go to downwards, and this. 
elbow okay. joint. Yes. Yeah. So okay. if, yes. Okay. So you have to more wide. Yes. And yeah. this thighs will be outer. Thighs will be outer, and you have to give complete strain on your spinal area. Tense for elephant. Very the cool. posture okay. is for elephant. Okay. So uh, what all things we do with the elephant? Elephant moves is basically for moves is basically for to build a strength in our body. Okay, makes and sense. And to tackle a two three people if they come together. So this uh, stanza helps gives us motion. Why? Because uh, every martial artist should uh, you know make this hip zone and the thigh zone should be very strong yeah. for to be survive. Right. So this elephant movement that we did just now. Uh -huh. From 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 this movement, this knee should not be constrained. This should be completely L shaped. Yeah. This should be completely L shaped. Yeah, the good posture. And, right. Yeah. And this this. And from here, we used to open these hands and then punch. Okay. Here, open these hands and punch. This way, so. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you have to make sure uh, these hands. Uh, the uh, the first you take left leg train. Yeah. So the first you stand up, you were sitting like this, yeah. giving elbow always. Yes. And then from you know you need to open, you need to just open this completely. You have to feel that you are removing a people from leg. Yeah. Okay. So just removing it and this leg and punch should together punch. Okay. Is it gap yeah. in the hands? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Down more, just more, just down, just down, just okay. down, and then hands will up. Just down and hands will up. Okay. Hands will up. Uh, yeah. Yes. And then, and then from here, you are opening it and placing your left leg foot first. Okay. Opening it and you place your left leg. Yes. So when you go to this move, what actually you're doing is. This and from this leg, left leg and hands is come together. Or come together. Yes, you have to give complete strength in that punch. Mm -hmm. Complete body strength in that punch. So when you're sitting here, complete punch. Yes. So uh, when you do that punch, say you have leg should not move, it will be placed in this. Gotcha. This way. The knee out. Oh, knee out can be okay, but it should be straight. Gotcha. <clears throat> yeah, and the the, the uh, now when you punch it, your chest is like this. Okay. Down. Yeah. It should be down. You take your right. And then this push. Push. Yeah. Left, left over right still? From left you are punching. From right you are pushing. Okay. First is this. First is straight. Oh, perfect. Okay. Oh, stop my toe there. Yes. First say yes. This way and then punch left again, uh, left friend and punch. then right friend and push. Okay, so uh, you're doing it perfect. So so what all we did, Sensei? We we started first this. We did this movement from uh -huh. here. The left is friend. Yep. So whenever our left leg goes friend, we always take. This left leg to right and then place. Yeah. This, this is slightly diagram. Yeah, in, in front of you do the same thing. That's so cool. So this left and slightly goes here. Why it goes? I just show you that why we're doing like that. So suppose uh, in, in a real fight. So uh, but all the, 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 it's a very close moment. Wait. 
So why we doing this diagrams? Uh, we we can take take it as a way, but why we doing this way? Because sometimes when the opponent comes and hits, hit, yeah, when the opponent comes and hit, and you you have to shake his legs and pace over it around, hmm. and then. Then and then the same things you can do all this push. Yeah. Oh, oh. So right. oh, this is this is just unlocking stance. Yes. So how we do? We just do it left to right and then back kick and say, look, it looks like dance, mm -hmm. but it's not dance. It's actually it's actually what happens. It actually it goes an application. Yeah. I love that. That's really cool. That's awesome. The, 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 uh, from here, the hands is goes this way. Okay. Yeah. What is this actually? Why are we doing this? And just make you keep it up. See, uh, this is again a blog. This man is giving all the So what happens that that if 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 attacks comes. You know, uh, it, it, this hands what actually do this is goes here and capture it. Ah, oh, oh, I love that. Right. So uh, this is uh, just an elephant. Elef how the elephant is using his hand. Very this cool. Way, what happens like we can this this application is according to the practice according to the practice work. Yeah, according to the uh, to learner, mm. that how we want to use that. This this hands can be used over here. Anyway, mm. yeah. so the, this this why we using this moves? You should uh, learn that where you want to use that move. Whether it on your hands, uh, if you did, yeah, right. So mm. it's it's like how to keep doing the moves. That's important. Yeah. I, I noticed. I, I I did a little bit of research. I noticed that the style has a lot of that head wrapping. Like yeah. you guys like having that one arm in and that one head wrap. Yes, like yes. You have one head, right? Yeah. But the arm and the head and together, that's that pops up a lot, right? Yeah, that's very cool. I so, love that. It's great. Yeah, control it's like, like, uh, like I said earlier, every moves is martial moves in this way bike. Yeah, but it, it it look like dance, but it's strictly a martial art. And then from uh, two two times you go on front, one is left yep. and then right. Two steps you go on front. Now from third, you, you need to take this third leg, right leg to completely back. Yes. So what happens if I say this? Yeah. One. Two and from here, just giving a block on your head and standing back with the right hand. Okay. With the right hand, you're just giving a block on your head. Yeah. This way, just give a block on your head and then pause that. And then from here, the left leg, which is uh, capturing over there, you need to just hit this leg up and from here, it's down. Yeah. Yes. Just down. Yes. Taking completely back to right leg. Yes. And stand clear after that. No, no. Leg will be friend. Left leg will be friend. Yes. And stand. And then kick up. And and then stay. Yes. Okay. Is it, is, is, it a, right? is, it, is it a straight front kick up? This kick is which actually left kick. So what actually we're doing is we're just bending our legs like this. This way, uh, and the small finger, the small finger of our leg should be go out, should should be pressed inside. Yes, and from here you're just kicking it, and then yes. it, the okay. kick is goes to here. Goes to here. This. Yeah, and the, the maximum it goes up. That was good. So after kicking it, you're just making a block. This this is a block. And this. 
right, right will be this, yeah, and left. And sit proper, this is the same portion. But we did with this, you yeah. have to sit with the same portion. Right hand does it. So the left one is friend. Yeah. So close and just complete down. Just complete should just should touch your thighs. Yeah. But chin down. Uh, kick and kick and say and say proper yeah and it just should ha you you should you should sit in one sit yes okay yeah yeah and sure. in, yeah okay 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 and then and then the, the arms here the hands is up because when you place your right hand you just take it right back and hand straight. And then from this leg, you kicking up and then. Yeah. That's what I've got to get used to. Is I'm is I'm coming here because yeah, it just should be down. It just should be down. Yeah. That is an interesting one. Should be down. Complete. Yeah, yes. That's a proper thing. Okay. And then sit. Yeah. And do, do not hold this uh uh, this it should be keyboard. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'll go ahead and try the whole thing and let's see how it goes. Hips up, yes. Hips up. Hips should, hips should not go down. Yeah, up, chest down. down. That's my feel. So you take your right, both hands will go straight up, and then you need to touch this hand with the leg. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Hands higher. Okay, sweet. Um, <laughs> this is, and, and what people don't understand about martial arts is even if you never use the techniques in real life, yeah. like you, your body will be so happy with you that you do these things, especially. With the great variation that Clarified Pipe has, because there's such low stances, you're handling yes. your hips so much, you're way up high, you're flexing, you're going in and out. Yes. It's, it's great for your body. So, uh, let me quickly tell you about Kalari Pipe. Uh, Kalari Pipe is an Indian martial art. This martial art was uh, you know, majorly practiced in southern part of India, uh, that's called Kerala. Uh, the beauty of this martial art, we believe, is that uh, this is not the creation of human mind. Uh, this martial moves uh, is a creation of uh, gods. Like if you, you can uh, add gods, like you know, Lord Parashurama, Lord Shiva, these all gods belong to the Hindu religion in India. And uh, just like the way if you go back to yoga, uh, the same way there is a history for Kalari Pipe also. So uh, like the world is recognizing yoga now uh, yeah. and the same way uh, Kalari Pipe is also, you know, uh, people are uh, aware about it a little bit now. Even though this martial art is not popular that much, uh, only because of the language uh, barrier. Kalari Pipe is... 3,000 years old. Uh, with that being said, is, do you think the purpose has changed? At, at martial art, uh, sometimes in the in the British ruling time in India, uh, they uh, banned this martial art for some time uh, uh, yeah. when, they, when they were ruling. So oh, I didn't know that, that was something, yeah, that was uh, one of the reasons that this art, uh, you know, for nobody was practicing over there. Yeah. Then uh, you might see that you know some movements it looks like a dance form of uh, uh, like, so uh, capoeira was banned and then it was redesigned to look more like dance. Yes. So it, it was it was hidden. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. So the same uh, some kind of like you said the capoeira the same kind of some movements is choreographed in Kalari Pai Martial, this is not dance, this is a proper martial art and every move is a martial move. And yeah. uh, like, like every martial art, this martial art also have a good uh, amount of techniques and uh, way of practicing.
to be uh, you know to do uh, self defense and to be a healthy man and to be a healthy person to the society in yeah general. right so so that was my that was my question you nailed it i know you guys have the pre choreographed moments that we mentioned before um, mm. Do you guys have any non choreographed um, mm. sparring sessions? I, I'm very happy to answer this question, and uh, uh, this is one of the uh, major uh, question for all of the people in the world who watch Scullery Fight. Yeah, they believe that uh, this martial art is pre arranged moments, or we can say pre choreographed moment is there. Yeah, I just want to tell that people. That is actually you observe is right. That you know, uh, uh, it, the, the 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 fight you see with the sword, the fight you see with the dagger, that is actually pre choreographed. Okay. And the pre the pre choreographed things what you are looking at in the video, mm -hmm. that is not actually for a fight. Sure. And what actually we are showing to you that right. This is the movement of coloring fight this is the way of fighting coloring fight so that the other person should understand what exactly the coloring is but here we are not fighting real to each other because the real fights in coloring fight it was happened it was sometime uh, in history uh, there was a time in kerala it used to be happened with sure. two teams with the two person and it was strictly banned now no yeah. one can play that because it's literally deadly now. Now to come come to the real point is that the the people who are looking at the coloring by the videos mm -hmm. by just looking at their performance that's just a performance that just a moment. Right. But yeah. if you learn that things in coloring with your master, mm -hmm. then they will not teach you. Right. Like. It's a dance or it's a choreographed moves. Absolutely. They really teach you what they actually teach you. They teach you how to uh, hit with sword, how to block with your shield, yep. and uh, how much your body should be ready to fight, uh, you know, block with this fight. Sure. And what all uh, movement is there with the sword. And if you have a sword, if another person, like suppose if say having a sword in your hand, I have a lot of movement. Uh, to block you without any weapon. I have a lot of blocks is there. Yeah, so yeah. so essentially what we're getting here is that uh, these pre-choreographed movements are not designed to make someone think that this is like, oh, I th and I think a lot of martial arts have this problem. It, it's a demonstration of what options are available for you when you're teaching the martial art. So like, when you put all the moves together in a row, it makes it seem unrealistic. But when you have them broken apart one at a time, which is their their purpose in actual martial arts, then it becomes more clear what the actual options are that you're learning, different techniques, rather than, okay, this, 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 then this will happen. Um, and I think that's where a lot of people lose it, is because when you look at it at face value, you begin to not see the smaller details that are important to you guys. Uh, uh, you know, uh, as I just, I just want to say that, uh, as you said that this this is the problem with a lot of martial arts, like demonstration and performance. Like, you know, I have seen some Taekwondo players also, you know, breaking the boards and uh, breaking the bricks and all these things. People used to say that these boards or bricks will kick yeah. you back. If you're yeah. it. Like this kind of thing. I think I think uh, this kind of feeling uh, should come to only to those people who really don't uh, really don't know about the martial art. I mean, if, 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 you know. I I am glad we can clear that up for people. Would that be? So the first thing that I thought was really cool was the use of the kick, and it's almost like an outside crescent kick, but I'm going up and forwards and trying to hit with the bottom of my foot. I thought that was the second part that I thought was really cool was all of their stances were chest forwards and hips back, which is very similar to like wrestling because you don't want to get those hips taken for a double leg. So they have a lot of their stuff here and then stuff like this. And like this is really similar to Muay Thai long guard where they stay like this. Now Muay Thai usually wraps the back of the head, but this is the same long guard trying to cover up that chin and those vital areas inside and having this here, which you see all of that. Last part that I thought was really cool was the karate C steps that they had, where they go like this. Well, not karate C steps. They're Kalari Pai two C steps. The karate still uses to this day. 
and then their in and out movement. And when I say in and out, they go here, here, and then they come backwards, which is simulating going in and then out. All of which are things that you can use and reflect martial arts in a modern time. Okay guys, I hope you liked this video. Make sure you go follow Shinto Matthew and all this stuff below. And then, uh, to be surprised, merch is back. Baby. <laughs>